Hi, I am Vitu Pranayatra. Today we are going to discuss about the Gini architecture. Outline, what is Gini? Gini architecture overview, service lookup process, distributed events, how is Gini related to the RMA, comparison with HABI, comparison with Corba, my example. What is Gini? Gini is a distributed system architecture developed by Sun Microsystems Incorporated. It is made for this network plug and play. Gini is not an acronym. It is coined by one of its designers, Bill Joy. You can think it as standing for Gini is not uh, initials. Gini architecture, data link layer, a TCP, Java virtual machine, a remote uh, method invocation, and Gini services, connection remote method invocation, Java virtual machine. Basic components of Gini service entity that can be used by a person, a device, or another service, for example, printing a document, displaying videos, etc. The lookup service providing a central registry of services and the clients use it to locate a service that he wants, proxy object and its attributes. The object implements all the interfaces provided by the remote service and attributes are used to distinguish the object from other objects of the same type. Client entity who requests services. A simplified example, lookup service, camera printer, proxy object, printer attributes, Proxy object and printable goes to the service and printer and a camera uh, proxy object comes there. Then it, uh, it, uh, it uh, tracks with the printer. A more complete scenario, a new printer is set up in the network. The printer sends a key for lookup services message to the local network. Each lookup service on the network responds with a proxy for each other. The printer registers its proxy object and attributes with each lookup service using the proxy of each lookup service. A man with a digital camera comes into this network and wants to print out a new picture. The camera sends looking for lookup services messages to the local network. Each lookup service in the network responds with a proxy for itself. And the camera searches for the types of services it needs using the proxies of one or more lookup services. The lookup services returns one or more matching proxy objects and the client distinguish them further by their attributes. The exactly matched proxy is downloaded to the camera. Then the camera begins to use proxy to interact with the printer to print the picture. What happens in a Gini environment? For a service, Discovery sends a looking for lookup services message to all the local lookup services and downloads their proxy objects. Join uses the downloaded proxy objects to register its proxy object and attributes with each lookup service and you renews its registration lookup service talk about later. For a lookup service, here I am sends a here I am message directly to the local network in case that some services may fail, maybe fail to register previously due to the network failure or some other reason. For a client discovery sends a looking for lookup services, message to all the local lookup services and downloads their proxy objects. Then it picks up the service that it wants by using the proxies of the lookup service. So service lookup process, service ID, each service including the lookup service has an ID that is unique in the engineering environment. Group, a group can be represented by an arbitrary string. A client can use the group to identify a set of services that it wishes to look up. The lookup service can use group to filter the local request. A group, an empty string as names means public group, which will actually match all the groups. Discovery lookup service continue, process continue. The discovery protocol are used by a client or a service to find out the lookup services and download the proxy objects. The leasing mechanism, a lease is a period of time during which the service is registered. If the lease expires and the service does not renew yet, the service will be discarded by the local service. The joint protocol is used to by the service to register itself here with the service. Discovery protocols, three protocols are used in the discovery phase, multicast request protocol, unicast discovery protocol, multicast announcement protocol. The multicast request protocol, the multicast request protocol is initiated by a discovering entity, a client or a service to locate a lookup service. 
it uses two connections. One is the multicast UDP to send the lookup, looking for lookup service message to the network, and the other is a TCP connection to wait for the lookup service to connect back. It uses a TCP connection to download the proxy object of the lookup service. Discovery entity lookup service. Construct a multicast UDP socket, listen to the multicast request. The discovering entity first sets up a TCP uh, server, multicast response service. Construct a multicast UDP socket, then sends its request for lookup service to the network. The multicast response service, um, the DE groups match the uh, groups to which the provide service it connects to the multicast response server and passes this proxy object to the uh, distributed DE. Unicast discovery protocol. By multicast, a discovering entity can only find on the local service in the local network, which uh, what if a user want to access uh, access any service in another network using a unicast discovery protocol. The client needs to be told about the location of the remote local service. Then the client directly establishes this TCP connection to the local service and downloads the local services proxy object. The multicast announcement protocol. The multicast announcement protocol is initiated by the service to announce its existence. It also uses two connections. One is the multicast UDP to send and the ERI message to the network. The other is the ITC connection to wait for discovering the entity to establish a download connection. In fact, this TCP connection is the same connection as used in the unicast discovery protocol. It uses a TCP connection to transfer the proxy object of the lookup service to the discovering entity. This kind of entity lookup service uh, established a TCP uh, unicast discovery server, unicast discovery server, establishes a set of services ID of lookup services for which it appeared that construct socket waiting for the arriving of the multicast uh, service IDs. Construct UDP multicast socket that represents on the array message. For each announcement received, it determines whether the service ID is already in set and whether it is interested in the groups of the looking up service. Um, if uh, the service ID is not in the set and it is interested in the groups, it connects to the Unicast server to get a proxy of the lookup service and then add the new ID in the set. The leasing mechanism when a service registers with the lookup server, it gets back. A lease on its presence in the local service. If the service wants to maintain the its presence, it must periodically renew the lease at the local service. Any network or host failure will force the removal of the unreachable services, which guarantees that the status of the network is almost always current. It is a self healing mechanism. For example, when a network failure isolates a service from a local service, the service will be evicted from the local service because it cannot. Release, and when the network is fixed, the service will receive a year I message and then can join the lookup service again. Join protocol, a service must maintain certain items of the state. These items are as follows: its service ID, a new service will not be assigned a service ID until it is started for the first time. If a service has been assigned a service ID, it must continue to use it across all the lookup services. Set up attributes used to distinguish services from other services. Set up group, the groups that uh, this service wishes to participate. Set up specific lookup services, the lookup services that the service has registered with by removing their service IDs. The joint protocol is used to register and register a service with the lookup service or to maintain those items of the state, such as changing its groups, attributes, etc. For example, if a service is asked to change the set of attributes with which it registers itself, it thus modifies the set of services in the story. Then it performs the requested change at each lookup service with which it is registered. The joint protocol happens after the discovery process and is accomplished by using the downloaded proxy of the lookup service. Some network details, though the GD specification does not explicitly say that GD relies on TCPIP. But actually, it does. The Gini specification says the TCP IP is based on the multicast request, which is the multicast IP address 24.0.1.85 and UDP port number 
4160 by default. The unicast discovery uses the DC port number 4160 by default. The multicast announcement uses the multicast IP address 224.0.1.84 by default. Note they are also called well known multicast IP addresses and port numbers for JD. Distributed remote, remote event. Remote event is different from the local event in that network discovery is unreliable. Messages may be lost. Synchronous methods requiring a reply may not work here. Network delivery has internet delay. Messages may arrive at different times to different listeners. So, the state of an object as perceived by a listener by at any time may be inconsistent with the state perceived by the others. A remote listener may have disappeared by the time the event occurs. Listeners have to be allowed to time out like services too. Jiri makes no assumptions about guarantees of delivery and delivery in order. The event generator supplies a single number that could be used to concentrate and order the information and the DC mechanism of the event is also used. This is the remote event attitude. Unlike the large number of event classes in the AWT and Spring, Jiri typically uses event of only one type a remote event and a small number of its subclasses. A remote event is serializable and can be moved around the network to its listener. A remote event listener is the receiver of remote events. A remote event listener is defined by an interface that contains a single method to notify which informs interested listeners that an event has occurred. Uh, register, register registers the remote event listener with the event generator. Um, event generator returns an event registration for the remote event listener to the registrant. The registrant returns an event registration to the remote listener. Event listener generator fires a remote event to the listener to indicate the kind of uh, event occurred. Two examples of using events service starting or closing. A client can know if a service is available immediately by registering the corresponding events without checking with the Lookup services, email notification. Once new emails arrive, the email service will fire an event to the email client such that the email client need not throw the email server. How is JD related to the RMA? RMA stands for remote method invocation, first introduced in JDK 1.1. You can think RMA is the RPC of Java, but it has many enhanced features. The most fundamental enhancement in the, is that RMA supports passing of the whole object over the network, which is employed by the GD. Client programs have uh, Java Remote Method Protocol, Transport Layer, Java Remote Method Protocol, Skeleton, and Server Program. Running a typical RMA application, uh, RMA registry, application server, web server, application step class, Naming, rebyte, application client, naming lookup, application step class, and we have the uh, retrospect of the This one, any protocol is okay. The proxy must be implemented by a programmer when the step is automatically generated by the RMA compiler under MIC. Proxy can communicate. Uh, with the service using its own protocol and the client does not need to know about it. Proxy is the key role to achieve the spontaneous use of the network. What is RMA use? Where is RMA use? The proxy object of the local service is called registrar. After the discovery phase, the registrar is downloaded to the service. The service uses the registrar to register with the local service and the protocol is used. Is the RMA in sense implementation, GD 1.1, start again. In sense implementation, GD local service is named Reggae and it needs RMID and a web server as the support services. Lookup service, registrar, service, discovery, which register moves in service. Then join using RMA, RMID, web server, and stub will use the registrar. That's Comparison with HABI, HABI is considered the RMD, the EC 6188 3.1 Function Control Protocol and the IEEE 139 for best standard, HABI MSIP, IEEE 6183 and FCP, IEEE 139 for standard. Gini Architecture Data Limited, TCP, JVM, RMD, Gini Services, Gini Place and TCP as its lower layer. HABI 
uh, works uh, under a fully distributed peer-to-peer -peer fashion. Each full AV device processes all the software elements such as VC manager, registry machine, and system. There can be no central controller. A genie environment must have at least one local service to serve as the central registry. HABI's discovery means to direct that a device is added by a remote from the network. HAVI lookup means to search each device registry to find out the service it wants, the name, same uh, meaning as discovery engine. Any discovery means to discover the lookup services. Item D1394 supports a dynamic device action such as hot plugging and unplugging. When the 1394 bus detects a topology chain, it will transmit the bus, uh, bus indication to all the devices in the network. Then the communication media manager of each device will add such an indication. Gini uses the DC mechanism as well as the lookup service to achieve the dynamic change of the network. In comparison with uh, Corba, Corba is a language independent. It uses OMG IDL and as IDL compiler for most of the popular programming languages. Gini relies on Java. It uses Java interface to describe the interface to the remote services. The current version of Corba does not support objects with precision, but it, uh, it will show. The capability of moving code is one of the most important features of the GINI. Corba uses the naming disk directory services to obtain the reference to the remote object. GINI uses the lookup service to obtain the proxy to interact with the remote service. It searches not only by the type, but also by the attribute. It uses unicast for the service lookup. It multicasts its service lookup uh, um, request to the local network. Corba has no leasing mechanism. Gini uses the leasing mechanism as well as local service to achieve network plug and play. Corba focuses on object. Gini focuses on service. This is because the engineers of Gini believe that the distributed object transparency is impossible. Corba uses the GIOP to define the format of the message and the IIOP to define the exchanging process of these messages. GIOP adopts the CDR representation. All these enables that are can be developed independently by any vendor. Gini employs a variety of protocols, multicast, MDP, RMAO, JRMP, et cetera, and many, and any other protocol can be used by the proxy and service communication. JRMP is only partially specified, and the next version, RMA, called RMA IIOP, will use IIOP instead. In Corba, a programmer only need to develop the client and the server program. The stub and the skeleton are automatically generated by the IDL compiler. No transmission of stub is required. In Gini, a programmer needs to download the client, a proxy, and the server. In RMA, the stub is generated by the RMA compiler using the server source code and needs to be transmitted to the client side. Interbase repository, IDL compiler, implementation as well. At the bottom, GIOP, IIOP, R code. Um, light blue standard interface, dark blue or specific interface, and pink standard language mappings, and, um, white standard protocol, DAI, IDL step, um, ARM interface, IDL skeleton, DSA, object adapter, uh, links to the client, um, operation in outs, out outs, and that one. Object server over that interface repository, ideal compiler, and information repository stands. The smart also all lookup service proxy of CSBW1, proxy of CSBW2, proxy of service B, proxy of CSBW1, proxy of CSBW2, connect with the bus, the CSBW1, US, night, CSBW2. And there is a break proxy of CSOBAW and proxy of CSW. And visitor and such as proxy of BSW user. Thank you.